Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I made a video on how to draw this pattern right here. And I shared it on Facebook. And somebody suggested I put this on all my videos. Um, so the file is there. But I, I made a little mental error and didn't make the thing symmetrical. And it would be really helpful. So it doesn't matter what size your eclipse, ellipse is. Control D and make a duplicate and then holding down the control button to bring it straight down. This is about the only way I figured out that you could do it. Then control D again, click on it and move that rotation to the center. A lot of times it doesn't look like in the center, but if you click off and click on it, it is. Then rotate that 120 degrees and control D and then rotate that one 240 degrees. And then use your Smart Fill tool to fill that in, and you've got it symmetrically. Because I, I was trying to go left or right, and I started thinking about it. I said, that just doesn't work. So I thought I'd throw this in. There's another way to make 3D, and I'm, I'm going to start using more of this. Is go to your Windows, Dockers, Object Properties, and go right here to the Fountain Fill. And right here is an elliptical. And then what you do, we want, you know, you can change your slide bar and make it less or make it more. We'll just keep it in the middle. There's a lot you can do with this fountain field. You can take your black color and drop it into that. And we've already done. And then you can play around with the slide bar and make it a little bit lighter to your effect and then just continue what I did earlier in this second video uh, is just to make and I'm actually going to go out to the shop a little bit and try this control D oh there's another little trick I I showed this morning that really kind of worked out we need this one up and down so we're going to grab it and we're going to use the parallel dimension tool on that edge so that node is 6.45, 6.48, and that's pretty important because then I'll, now you can change your nest distance to 6.48. Control D and move it down, and it is exactly where it needs to be in your drawing. And then just Control D again and move it down, Control D. And then you can start manipulating the other ones into position. So I would go to range and group and then make a control D of these and very easily move them over to where they need to be. But that's in the first video. So if you don't haven't figured that out, this is going to look pretty cool. I think it's actually a, I might have to go out the shop after the football game and watch that and run that and see what it looks like. I think it's going to be a little different than that one. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.